We've already looked at changing the log basis to accommodate that log button on our calculator, that is, log of base 10. Well, in this tutorial, we're going to establish that this rule will work with any basis, not just 10. So let's take a look. Our base change rule. And it can be summarized as log base x of y equals log base b of y over log base b of x. Now, this is nothing different than we did before, other than we would consider that base b to be 10, and so that it went right into our calculator. But we will find it useful going forward to be able to convert to other bases, not just 10. So we've tested out this rule with a whole bunch of them when we were converting for our calculator to base 10. So let's jump into something interesting right away. Example one, simplify this one. And that's an interesting one, right? Having a radical as a base? Well, let's try and change up that base. But what are we going to change the bases to? Well, we look at the numbers involved and we're trying to simplify them. We have a 16 and we have an 8. So we remember back to exponents and we think that 2 might be a good base. We remember 2 to the power of 4 gives us 16, and 2 to the power of 3 gives us 8. So that seems like a good idea. So let's convert to base 2. And at this point, we know that logs and exponents go well together. So let's convert everything to exponent form. 16 becomes 2 to the 4, 8 becomes 2 to the 3, the cube root becomes 1 third, and the square root becomes 1 half. From there, we can combine those exponents. And then our power rule brings those exponents to a multiplication. And we see that log base 2 of 2 is just 1. And we're left with 4 thirds over 3 halves. And if we have a hard time thinking of what this division will look like, we can just flip and multiply. And we end up with 8 ninths. So all of that mess and a little bit of rearranging and we end up with a simple fraction, 